Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Week 32, she was 17 inches long and uh, 4.2 pounds. Uh, she's getting heavy. This week I mostly just did a lot of planning for my baby shower because my baby shower is on uh, was on June 24th, so this Sunday. It was also my birthday this week. I turned 27 and I feel really old. I definitely don't feel 27. I feel the same as I did when I was 22 and 23. Uh, maybe a bit more relaxed than I was when I was 22 and 23. I didn't do anything really special for my birthday. I went out for dinner with uh, one of my friends and so that was nice. I got some money for my birthday from my grandmother and from my mother so uh, that money went towards a new mattress because I needed a smaller one to fit in my new bedroom. My other one was a queen and now I have a double. The baby kicked me in the ribs for the first time this week so now I know what that feels like. I used to think that the pinching pain in my upper back was like her foot or something, but it, it, I don't think it is. I think it's just like a muscle or something. I've had a hard time with the, my iron in my blood. Uh, I'm, I know it's getting low again because I keep falling asleep on public transit and that's usually a sign that my iron is really low is when I start falling asleep in random places. So uh, I had, I have a hematology appointment next week, so we will see what comes of that. Sleeping is getting really difficult. Um, it's really hard to just, just to sleep. I mean, I'm really tired so I can fall asleep, but finding a comfortable position is nearly impossible. And every time I wake up in the morning, I don't feel rested and I feel stiff and sore. Um, yeah, there's basically just no comfortable position to sleep in. I have a thousand pillows. I have a pregnancy pillow and definitely that helps. I don't think I would get any sleep without a pillow in between my knees or underneath my knees. I only have, I don't know how many weeks left to go, but not very long. I've also been staying up mega late, like three o'clock in the morning because I've had a ton of stuff to do, like packing to move and again, organizing stuff for my baby shower. It's just been crazy. Like I, I feel like everything that I have to do is really urgent, even the things that maybe might not be so urgent. Um, yeah, I'm not a person who stays up till three o'clock in the morning and I'm tired, okay? Like, it's just adrenaline. Like, I, I'm just excited and oh, I don't even know. I've been getting nauseous a lot. I'm not sure why I've been getting nauseous. Um, I've also been kind of unable to eat very much because when I do eat, I get this incredible pinching pain in my back and I'm just so full and it's really uncomfortable being full. I mean, even if I eat small meals, I'm like ridiculously full. So it's been kind of, eating has been kind of a struggle. I visited a daycare this week. My school offers um, daycare for students with kids. So I visited that daycare and I'm on the waiting list for that and I'm gonna be on the waiting list for another location for my school. So I did that this week and I also got on the waiting list for a few other ones as well. The wait lists for daycare in Toronto are super long. I mean a year at least. Some of them are two years. It's it's crazy. I mean, so hopefully getting her on before she's born uh, will make sure she has a spot when I go back to school uh, next spring and summer. Breathing has been getting more and more difficult. Like when I walk, I just, my breathing is very like deep and labored and you can hear it. I'm not really one of those types of people who like every breath they take, you can hear it and it's really annoying. Uh, I don't like being able to hear people breathe. Uh, and I'm one of those people right now. Uh, yeah, I guess it's just because everything is really squished inside of me and that includes my lungs. I've been walking around a ton. Like I've been averaging at like 10,000 steps a day and that's not normal for me. Like I don't move around that much. I'm glad that I'm moving around because I'm getting a lot of exercise, but like it also pays a toll on me, my feet and my back, and I'm just super wiped by the end of the day and then I stay up super late and it's just like, 
not really a good cycle. I also feel like I have a bladder infection, but I know that I don't because I have gotten so many tests because now I have OB appointments every other week and every single time I have her check my urine because I'm like, it feels like I have a bladder infection or a UTI because it feels like I have to pee all the time. And sometimes I do pee all the time um, because I guess, you know, the way she is right now and she's big enough, my bladder is just getting to be completely flat. But I, unfortunately, I don't. It's just really uncomfortable and I'm gonna have to deal with it until she's born. When the baby moves now, it's really funny to see because my my belly like really does waves. Like before it was doing like little waves, now it's like it's so funny and uh, I think her foot or I don't know it was it was a limb of some sort because she stuck it and then dragged it across and I tried to get a picture but it was too late I wanted to get a picture of what it looked like with just her foot sticking out but yeah she always stops moving when I bring up the camera I've been taking so many baths uh, they are amazing for my back and I've been getting them as much as possible because when I move I won't be having well I have moved I guess by the time you see this video and I don't have a tub so that's unfortunate but I didn't really take very many baths before I was pregnant anyway so that's all right um, but yeah hot baths are life the night before my baby shower I actually had a mini breakdown just because I was really nervous about how it was gonna go because I planned it myself. I was nervous that they would be able to tell that I did it myself and either feel bad for me or they would just think that I that maybe somebody did plan it and I was just being super bossy and whatever so I was like super afraid of that and I was a uh, I just was really nervous you know that people wouldn't show up or they wouldn't have a good time like just so many things that I shouldn't have been worried about uh, I was worrying about Saturday night and I just cried for so long about it it was ridiculous it just felt I felt really scared for the next day and it gave me terrible pains in my uterus that night because sometimes when I'm stressed out like that happens um, but it turns out um, my shower was really great it was nice to see my friends in like the same place um, I mean at the end of my shower there was kind of a situation that I wasn't expecting to happen uh, and it made me really upset so that was kind of a damper on the day and I felt kind of sad for a few days just because I hadn't been that upset in a while and I hadn't really I don't know that just didn't really happen in a while it had to do with someone in my life who well, they weren't invited to the shower but they ended up being there for a little bit I don't really know how much I want to say on social media about it, but that was kind of really tough at the end, but luckily I went out for dinner with one of my friends who came in from my hometown, and so that helped me feel a ton better, and she stayed for like a long time, and we had a really good night out, so that helped me feel a lot better. I was really grateful for her, <laughs> and uh, she knows the deal with this person, um, and she has seen worse things happen with them so uh, yeah so it, it was really comforting to have her there but other than that the baby shower went well and I was just really happy to see people I hadn't seen in a long time and talk to them and just yeah be around people who were excited that I was having a baby yeah it was really nice it was a crazy busy week thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye